Hey there, Taurus. Uh, welcome to reading for November 2017. This is going to be your main message. I said I'm going to do main message readings. The main thing you should be focusing on for the month of November. And uh, let's see what comes up for you. Also this month, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Also, uh, if you'd like a 2018 reading, I am now going to be doing 2018 readings. And you can get a personal 2018 reading in the link in the description below. So let's see uh, what's coming up for you. Looks really good. You have the Ten of Hearts. So maybe a focus on family or hearing about family. I think for some of you, you could be hearing about improvements with a family member or uh, something along those lines. Uh, but this card for you, because remember, we're doing a main message of November, is um, a card of loyalty and seeing changes of loyalty, of course, for you, with uh, Saturn moving into Capricorn at the end of the year, I think that's going to be a huge theme for Taurus is friends, uh, changes with friends, changes with loyalty and friends, and probably like 10-year-old messages about friends and dealing with friends, dealing with people. Uh, the list goes on and on there. I think that will be your main thing um, for Saturn. So uh, we'll talk about that more probably at the end of the year. But um, you know, just know that there's probably going to be a lot of changes with friends. I'd say these things are going to be positive for you. So... Uh, that is definitely a good thing. But great card of changes and a great card of uh, improvements. If I didn't say it already, this card represents fortune after difficulty. So, you know, good things coming in for you. Uh, next, you have the two of spades. Probably just a lot of mind changes. I would say stay flexible this month as well. I do feel like, you know, this is, to me, um, yeah, just, I'll just say, to me, this card is a card of flexibility. It's a card of being open to possibilities and just staying flexible and kind of more go with the flow type of energy. It's not even go with the flow energy. I mean, I really don't even think that's the right the right word to use. I think it's um, just a kind of flexibility, D just a little bit different. <laughs> but um, be open to new ideas and things like that, I would say, uh, at this time and probably in all areas of your life. I feel like um, it looks like a good, great month, by the way, but I, I feel like if things that you want to have happen, for them to happen, I feel like they're just not going to happen how you want them to. I think, again, I think that's why flexibility is important because I think it's going to be like some other way. And I know that's a very general message, um, but I do feel like it's like everything for you this month is going to happen like that. Next, you have the King of Hearts. Definitely a very good card. I always say this card to me is a card of returns. I don't. I usually don't read it as a person. I usually just read it as things returning to you that you kind of energy you put out, or um, you know, it could literally be things. I mean, you could have lent something out, could be coming back. It could be money. It could be almost anything uh, coming back to you at this time. Uh, definitely a very good card of feeling taken care of though this month. So I do feel like you will be feeling nurtured and taken care of at this time. For some of you, I do feel like, again, I normally don't say this with this card, but I do feel like this could be somebody in your life. Um, and again, I feel like they will be, you will be hearing something about them that will be very positive. So I do like to see that as well. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds. Very good card of improvements and moving forward. And it's also a card of growth. Aries had this card as well. And I think it's just a big card of growth and money coming in for you. Probably also a card of taking risks. I have a feeling that probably, um, yeah, I would say that probably every single earth sign is going to get something about risk taking at this time, um, most likely because of Pluto and Capricorn as well. And also again, Saturn moving at the end of the year into Capricorn. I think it's a great time for anybody with earth or heavy earth in their chart, or if you are an earth sign like a Taurus, uh, it, you know, it's a great time for you to take risks and try to put yourself out there and also focus on passions. Uh, I'd say focus on things that you actually want to do in life. Um, I think that, you know, I, I read for a lot of people who are like trying to get a job, but they really want to do something else and they can't ever get a job. And I think it's basically the universe saying, no, you're supposed to be doing whatever else you want to do. And, but you're just not focusing on it. You're just not trying to, you know, trying to go in that direction. And this card says, do it. And, you know, again, I know I'm, a lot of people will be saying, well, I can't do it. I don't have the money. I don't have this. And it's like, like I said two seconds ago, you're not going to be able to do what you want in the way that you want to do it. Um, it. You know, I think for you, it's about taking a risk and finding some other way to focus on your passions and like even turn it into a business or get into some sort of field. I think it's very exciting. I think it's a very good energy. I think it could be challenging, but I also think the rewards will be this right here, a giant diamond in your life. So do it. Next, you have the four of clubs. A card of uh, stabilizing things, stabilizing. Definitely a Mercury retrograde energy. I don't know. It's a, it's been like a weird few months. I mean, you know, um, we're in October, of course, right now. Next month is November, and uh, and then December because that's the order that they go in, right? Um, I forget sometimes, so I have to remind myself. And 
um, yeah, I feel like there's this weird retrograde type of energy. Even the other day, I logged into my YouTube, all the videos were missing. I did a video about, you know, people's videos weren't showing up and all this other stuff. And, you know, I've been hearing from, like, a lot of people that their electronics have been breaking down and all this other weird stuff. This card represents retrograde energy. So, you know, just kind of, like, take your time this month and double check everything that you do, That is what I would say. But this card also kind of says, like, Again, if you have this idea to start a passion-based business or to work on one of your passions or start a project, this card says your thoughts are the truth. Your thoughts are exactly what you should be doing. So you just have to find a way to do it. And you end with one of my favorite cards in the deck, the Ten of Clubs. It's a card of uh, prosperity and abundance and you know all this other great stuff coming in. But I feel like for you, uh, again, it's all about learning new ways. Again, you have to look at these cards, like the clubs cards, especially to me, all the clubs cards pretty much represent an opportunity to do something. Like if I were to take away all the other meanings of the clubs cards, I would just say that just in general, to me, clubs represent opportunity. And they, this card in particular says, hey, you have a bunch of chances. You have like 10 chances or more to do something you want to do. And there are like 10 different ways you could probably do it, uh, but you just have to kind of like figure it out and how you could do the things that you want to do. Also, as a side note, amazing card for dating, by the way. Amazing. Actually, you have two really good cards for dating. Three, if you want to get technical. And uh, so great month for dating, putting yourself out there, trying to meet new people if you are looking for that. But I would say the important thing for you is uh, kind of like charge towards your passions this month and try to make something happen there. Even if you're retired, um, you know, I've been saying it all year in like the end of last year as well, that uh, even if you're retired, you could be working on some sort of passion project or something at this time that could become like very important. I think the universe is rewarding things like this in the near future. So I highly recommend that you do it. But it looks like a great month. Uh, again, if you want a 2018 reading, link is in the description below. Appreciate your support and thank you for watching.